Yes, that's what I'm saying. There are certain errors involved in the contract. No. The fact still remains that 60% of security contracts are on the handling major... Yes, yes. No, 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 no. See, you see, you see. Because of this, they, they, they have this uh, black budget. Ah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> you see what? I, I, I will see you on Monday morning, okay? Have a wonderful day. Baby. Please, can I have a word with you? I want to be left alone, please. My love, why are you doing this to me? Why can't we even at least pretend to be husband and wife? What part of I want to be alone don't you understand? <sighs> please, I am not so new fan. I need some money to get drugs. My account has a little issue. Please. This is sweetheart. With your history of saying and doing everything to walk your way, I don't think I believe you. But if you think that I would fall for this, your cheap deception, that means you don't even know me. It seems I don't know you at all. There is no logic to justify what you are doing to me. What else do you want me to do before you stop punishing me for God knows what? See, if you can give me peace every weekend, I would travel and just leave you to get this loneliness that you crave. Excuse me. That would be the last thing you have done to me in this house.
Dad. Dad, are you alright? What is it? You have been consuming much of this lately. It's not good for your health. Would you shut up? What gave you the F1 tree to talk to me? What gave you the F1 tree to advise me? Listen to me. Next time you talk to me in such manner, I will discipline you without mercy. You are in no position to advise me. How old are you? I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to disrespect you. Better be. Now get out of my sight! What do you want from me? Well, Stella, do you know what? I want your heart. <laughs> if I give you my heart, I will stop breathing. So... <laughs> You're very funny. Sometimes. Well, I must give it to you. You have this good sense of humor. But the truth is that I um, I love you. I love you so much. And I will really want you to give me a chance to prove to you how much I love you. Would you agree with me that the most abused word on earth is love? Yes, I agree with you. That's because it's just simple to say. But, believe me, when I tell you that, that I truly love you, I'm not just saying it because it's fluent in my mouth, but I'm saying it from the deep part of my heart. And, um, yes, before I see that word or that phrase called love as ridiculous word, and now? Yeah. Now I just have to apologize to all my friends whom I've mocked for using that phrase. Well, I admire your courage. Okay. But I don't believe what you believe in. So to me, love at first sight is not inexistent. So, we have to take it slow and see how it goes. Honestly, I am. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as long as I'm with you, I'm here. As long as I'm still stick to you. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I am stick to you like you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds romantic. Mm. The whole thing continued to give me psychological trauma. Because it was rosy in the beginning. How it got that bad, I can't say. Just in a flash, his attitude changed. At that point, I was a shadow of myself. Mom. Yes, darling. 
You are here. Yes, I'm here. The question is, why were you not here? Mom, what is going on? I don't understand. What are you talking about? I've been standing here for 60 seconds for you to observe my presence, yet you were lost. Oh. <laughs> Angel, you worry too much. I was busy processing something very important in my mind. So it's natural for me not to notice when you entered. Okay, Mom. I believe you. Baby, come here. Baby. Don't worry much. Okay? Mommy loves you. Mom. You worry too much these days. I don't like it. Please. Just focus on your studies. Mom. Baby. I worried about what you're processing in your mind. Does it have anything to do with why dad has been aggressive these days? Oh. You think I don't know what is happening in this house? <sighs> Mom. When will you tell me what is going on? Baby. Relax. I will tell you at the appropriate time. When, mom? Is it when I'm 18? Oh, baby. I promise. I will tell you. But not now. You need to focus on your studies more. Please. I don't like seeing you like this. Stop being worried about me. I will be fine. Everything will be fine. I promise. Come here. Even my daughter was traumatized. The whole thing was giving her serious concern too. Baby, welcome. How was your day? I decided to go and talk to him. In fact, it was more like apologizing to him over an offense I don't know when I committed. But I had to do that in the interest of peace. Baby, I told you I made dinner for you. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Baby, I am sorry. What's that supposed to mean? I am sorry. I don't know what have come over us. Baby, we started as friends. Our friendship grew to the extent we turned to brother and sister. What we felt for each other, Grianu, we found ourselves worthy to be husband and wife. My love. 
baby, please. You're not the man I used to love. You're no longer my sweet friend. Baby. A few months after our marriage, things fell apart between us. Where did I go wrong? My love. I take responsibility of everything that's happening between us. Baby. Please. I don't want us to fight again. I am sorry. Forgive me. Please. What is your problem? Let me tell you something. I am too smart and intelligent for all those games that you're playing. Like I said before, I'm very tired and I need to sleep. But you didn't go to work today. You're very stupid for saying that. Can't I get rest in my own house? You see, I am tired of sharing this room with you. After tonight, you can go down to the guest room and stay or better still go stay with your your daughter. Hey. I can share this room with you. What have I done wrong? Why do you hate me so? Oh, what is the problem now? What part of I want to rest? Don't you understand? Do you want me to leave this room for you? And my effort to pacify him was to no avail. He even asked me out of his room. Let me tell you something, I am too smart and intelligent for all those games that you play. Like I said before, I'm very tired and I need to sleep. What is it? Why did you sleep me in? Listen, 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 listen. Stop. Relax. You see, um, it's just because of that, my wife. You know, I, like I told you, I, I just don't want her to make troubles. You understand? But I promise you, very soon. I will get her all the way and we'll be together. But you told me you've chased them. Yes, um, I was supposed to have, but um, just trying to sort out some things, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, whatever. Wait, I'm telling you, you're still happy. That night, I slept on the couch in the living room. Now my major problem was my daughter. She was so curious to know exactly what was going on. Mom. 
Good morning, Mom. Good morning, sweetheart. How was your night? It was fine. We slept here. Yes. Why? Um, I was watching a movie last night, so I dozed off. Who put up the TV then? Um, I woke up in the middle of night, so I turned it off. I was so weak to go inside, so I decided to sleep here. Okay. Baby, let me freshen up, okay? Okay. came into the room and saw used condom meaning that he brought another woman into our matrimonial home Baby, good morning. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You're so shameless. Do I look like a kid to you? Don't you ever in your miserable life call me a baby again. I am sorry, my love. You are the worst woman I've ever seen. I don't even know what I saw in you. I don't love you, I never did. I just married you out of self-pity after I picked you up from the slum. I had so much compassion in you because of your miserable life. I got married to you. But I tell you one thing, I regretted that decision I made years back. You're just good for nothing. All you do is to just sit down and eat my food. You gave me a girl. A child. After that, nothing. Because you have destroyed your womb with countless abortion that you did before. Stella, I am so disappointed in you. I am so disappointed in you. I got married to a woman who is so neck bent and doing nothing just to sit down. If you had given me a son, I would manage that and look away from your miserable life. But no, you gave me a girl who I am not even sure she is my daughter. Fred! You're saying Fred? Just look at us. We are both dark and she's fair. Each time I confront you with it, you will tell me that my own mother is fair. I am not even sure that that girl is my daughter. So please, just leave me alone. Stay on your own. You understand me? Just want to spoil my body with your bad luck. Baby. Oh. Oh. If you touch me, I will so slap you. Get away from me. Do you, do you want me to slap you? Stay away from me, John. Come on. 
At that point, I decided to involve a third party. to discuss something very important with you. Yes, that should be in the next one hour. I met my friend Lizzie and narrated my order to her so that she can advise me on what to do. Lizzie, you are someone who could say things objectively without emotion or friendship getting in the way. Please, it is very important to me if you will give me your best opinion. It's okay, I'm all ears. My friend, my marriage is in shambles. I have done everything I could to stop my marriage from collapsing, yet it is to no avail. Lizzie, I need your help. I came to you because you enjoy one of the most successful marriage I have ever seen. Lizzie, please, tell me. What is the secret? Please help me. I am dying in silence. So, mm. Stella, there is no perfect marriage anywhere. Huh? The success and failure of any marriage depends on the approach of both parties. Now the question is what and what have you done? <laughs> I have done everything. Namely? Oh, I have done everything I could. What more can I do? Okay, what are the things that you've done? 
busy. I have been a good wife to Fred. I am faithful to him. I respect Fred as my own biological father. I don't even talk back at him. But it seems all these are not working because his attitude gets worse by the day. Hmm. I am tired. I don't want anything to happen to my marriage. I love my husband. But wait, Lizzie, do you remember what I told you when you met him? Um, you said he's handsome. Not that. What? Okay, I'll tell you. What exactly are you talking about? You told me that you started having nights me ever since you met him. <laughs> yes. Well, it could be coincidence. It is no coincidence. This situation has a spiritual dimension. And you need to seek for solution. Ha! Solution for what exactly? Solution for having a nightmare that everyone usually has. I don't understand. Stella, you don't understand. Do not take these things for granted. Enough of this conversation, please. Let's just be happy for me. Mm -hmm. I met the right man for me. It's alright. Stella, you were born with an intellect that makes you unique. You process things faster than other people, which is okay. But that can also create an illusion in your mind that makes you think you understand things, whereas you don't. This is not an ordinary issue. You should seek for solution now. I am done with this conversation. Please. Let's change this topic. Oh, really? I don't understand. I am confused. Yes, yes. You told me that the nightmare I always have is spiritual. But we are talking about physical here. Oh. The spiritual controls the physical. Easy. I have not given you all the facts. Listen, Fred assaults me at will. Fred messes around with women. He don't eat my food anymore. He comes back late at night. Whenever I try to complain, he turns me into a punching bag. How can a man's irresponsible behavior turn to be a spiritual problem? Please, this is mere wickedness. This is wickedness. Um, Stella, I will remind you what I told you back then. You were born unique. You process things faster than other people. Which is good. <laughs> but it creates an illusion in your head that makes you think you understand things which you do not. Something you do not understand is influencing his behavior towards you. And that is what I want you to find out. <laughs> How? I will take you somewhere. Lizzie. Please. I have been to a lot of Prayer houses. I am not going anywhere again. Please. Stella, I thought you said I have one of the most successful marriage you've ever known. That won't be argue. Do you know that my marriage had problems too? Really? Yes. The problems had spiritual dimension. Huh. I sought out spiritual solutions. And today, my marriage is safe. So, what are we saying? Please, tell me more about this.
Tommy, what is it? Why are you back so early? And why is your face like that? You don't look good. Honey? I am unemployed. Unemployed? You don't understand. How do you Talk to me now. What do you mean? I have lost my job. I'm sad. What? <laughs> how? How? You know, I, I thought it was a dream when when I received the sack later. Oh my god. But, but, but what did you do? What did you do? What, what, what did you do? Why did they sack you like that? Baby, talk to me. Every fabric of our lives is tied to politics. Oh my God. I was just a victim of corporate politics. Oh it's okay, babe. It's okay. I understand how you feel. I know what you're going through. But when one door closes, many other doors open. Please. I don't need any false sense of hope right now, okay? Baby, I'm not giving you false hope. I'm just telling you the truth. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay, you just have to believe. You have to believe, babe. It's okay, babe. Baby. Come here. Oh, it's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Baby, no. I noticed your car is not outside. Where is it? It is safe. It is safe? Mm -hmm. Where? Okay, give me a minute. I'll be right back.
What is this? Take it and see for yourself. What's going on? Well, I had to sell some of my belongings, my jewelry, just to raise this money so you could start up something little with it. You did? <laughs> this is huge. I don't even know what to say. Just short of words. You don't have to say anything. Remember I told you we're in this together. Hmm? <sighs> You just have to manage it and start up something. Thank you so much. Okay. Come here. Mm. Oh. oh. I will never forget this. It's okay. Mm. I just want you to make use of it wisely. Mm. Sit. Wow. I'm just. So now the money is here. What kind of business are you actually thinking of? Um, that's that's not a problem. I'll just um, I'll I have a friend. I'll give him a call. Okay. He's into electronic business, so I'll give him a call. It's okay, but what electronic business? Yes, babe. This money is too small for electronic yeah, business. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not it's not a problem. He's a friend, so. I believe you will give me some on credit, so after sales, I'll balance up. Are you sure? Very sure. It's okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you too, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, Thank you. darling. It's okay. It's okay. Wow. Wow. I'm so it's surprised. Ooh, I'm happy you are happy now. Honey, what is it? Talk to me. I've been duped. What? You know that my friend I told you about? Yes, yes. He has duped me. Oh my God. How? How? How, how did it happen? I said I was duped. The money you gave to me? Yes. All of it is gone. Like... Baby, baby, you need to calm down. Just calm down. I know what's going on. I know this is not easy. But you just have to calm down, okay? I understand the situation of things. I, I just want you to believe that everything will be okay. Please. What I don't need now, it's all this motivational crap. Okay? I don't need it. 
In fact, I, I want to be left alone. Baby, just try to understand what I'm saying. I said I want to be left alone. Okay, sorry. Um, you know, you've not eaten this morning and it's past noon. Let's go so I will get you something to eat. I don't have appetite for food. Baby, you can't say that now. You've not eaten since morning. You really need me to repeat myself. I said I want to be alone, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So what is the problem? Um, I want you to help me take a loan from our cooperative. You are a member already. So you don't need anybody's assistance to get a loan. You just, all you have to do is request for it. That is all. Are you serious? Yes. But I was thinking since I'm a new member. No, I, oh, no, really? no. You are no longer a new member. You have been working with us for almost a year now. You have every right for a loan. Just oh. go for it. It's all right. Thank you very much. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. If I may ask, how much do you want? Well, I'm looking at one million era. One million? Yes. <sighs> what do you want to do with that kind of money? Sarah, my husband's condition has been giving me sleepless nights. I can't just sit there and watch him just like that. I want to see if I could get this loan and give it to him. Maybe he would think of something to start up with. But Lizzie, you sold your car and eventually everything you have the other time just for him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, please, don't, don't discourage me. I told you the last time that he, he, he was duped. All the money was gone. I just have to do something. Well, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I really do appreciate your effort. Seriously. I just hope you are doing the right thing, Lizzie. I am. Because if you are not... I am. You just have to help me, please. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank you. So do I need to come with any certificate or anything? No. You don't need anything. You're a okay. member already, so just go to the office. And... All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Baby. Guess what? So today I made the loan request of one million euro. And the loan was granted. By tomorrow they will send the money into my account. So uh, by then you look for what to do with it. Maybe start up a little business. What? You are not happy. Wait, you... You made a loan request of one million naira? Yeah. Yes. And it was granted? Mm-hmm. What is it? I, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Baby, you don't have to say anything. I remember I told you that we are in this together. You don't have to say anything, okay? You're just amazing. Thank you, darling. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> There's no one like you, honestly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm still just, I'm trying to, 
I'm just trying to get it's job. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, um what's the interest rate for, for the loan? Um actually it's three percent, but we have just one year to pay the the money. Three percent? Yes, that is because I'm a member. Outsiders pay ten percent. Uh, but not to worry, I'll take care of the interest. Okay? Ah you are just what every man is looking for. Thank you, darling. <laughs> You've been my strength. You you are just you are you are a blessing to me. I don't I'm short of words. You can I don't even know what to say, but thank you. Thank you so much. It's okay. You're my husband. What are you saying? It's all right, darling. Have you eaten? Let me go get you something to eat. Take a look. Before you do that, come here. Oh, oh, stop here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love you too. I love you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, you said you have something that you want to discuss with me. Uh, yes, Lizzie. Mm. Uh, are you home alone? Yes. Okay, uh, Lizzie, are you aware that your husband is cheating on you? Hmm? My husband is not cheating on me. I have a proof. Look, Sarah, is this what you have come to discuss with me? Sarah, please, don't come here and start telling me that my husband is cheating on me. I won't take that from you. It's unacceptable, please. Lizzie. I don't understand you. Since he burns back through the loan you obtained for him, he has been messing up. He doesn't care about you. Sarah, Sarah, please. If this is what you have come to my house to discuss with me, I am not interested. My husband is not cheating on me. Please. Please. Ah. Okay. I guess I have, I guess I have to use the door now. But I will continue to play my part as your very good friend. Thank you. Bye. Hello? Good afternoon, Ma. I'm fine, thank you. Yes, yes, Ma, I know. I understand, Ma. I will get back to you. Thank you, thank you for the patience. I will get back to you, Ma. Yes, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. Okay, okay, no problem. Um, honey, I have something to discuss with you. What is it? Um, <clears throat> the... Um, it's about the repayment of the loan I took for you. 
The woman asked me to repay the money. Are you stupid? No. So, I can't have peace in my own house just because of one millionaire. No, no, honey, you don't understand. You know how this cooperative works. I mean, it's due. I need to pay back the money. I don't have it. When I do, I will give it to you. But the woman... If I don't pay back this money, they are going to be on my leg. I don't understand. I said, I don't have it. And when I do, I will give it to you. This should be the last time you're disturbing me with this. But I'm trying Enough! to... Enough! I was shocked. That's... Hello, hello, Sarah. Can you come over to my house right now, please? Please, just come now. Thank you, thank you. Sarah, welcome. Thank you. What is going on? My dear, I don't understand my husband. I don't understand him at all. He has refused to give me the money to repay the loan. Wait, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Why would your husband refuse to give you the money to pay the loan? I don't know. I don't know at all. Wait, wait. You took the loan and gave it to him to start all over again when he has nothing. Now your husband is doing well. Why is he finding it so difficult to pay back? I don't know. Does he want you to be arrested? Lizzie, it's time for you to comfort him. No, 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 no. no. It has not gotten to that, please. It has not gotten to that at all. I will just look for a way to sort myself out. Maybe take another loan or something. Then look for a way to pay it out. No, no, no. Lizzie, you don't have to do that. You don't. This is no longer ordinary. It's high time you sought a solution why all these things are happening. Do you think this is spiritual? Yes. This sign is written all over your situation. And you have to do something before it's too late. It's okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Nothing. What are we friends for? Thank you. Everything will be fine, okay? Then I went to see one easy wine, who is a seer, who told me that I have a spiritual husband and that the spiritual husband is angry because I got married. <laughs> what are you talking about? We should come be spirit husband again. My friend, it is real. There are things about this life that we do not know. Things beyond our understanding. Are you trying to say that I have a spirit husband? No. It must not be spirit husband. There might be some spiritual factors that is affecting your marriage that you do not know about. Lizzie, 
You can't expect me to visit one as and one in this 21st century. Simply because you were brainwashed to believe that your problem was spiritual. What are you saying? Stella, do not take these things for granted. They are real. <sighs> My dear, thanks for your advice. I appreciate. Huh. But I am not going anywhere. Hmm? Have a nice day. Same thing with what I have. Yeah, I'm going to do the confirmation. Okay, okay. Um, okay. So these are the documents you requested. Okay. So how are you? Fine. Good. good. Um, yes, um, the documents are actually yes. So, what was going on? I don't understand. I have been paying close attention and I have observed that you are losing after her. Fred, for crying out loud, you are a married man. Can we talk about something else? Okay. Fred, listen, I am your friend and I will not lie to you. You married a good woman and... Oh, Kevin, Kevin, please. Please. I am not in the mood for this, your summer, okay? Can we talk about something? I will not like to you. You married a good woman and... Oh, please, please, Kevin. What's the problem? Can you just stop? We're having a business discussion here. Can you just not spoil it with this, your summer? Like I said, if you don't have anything to say, I think it's best you just let me be, please. You know what? Two thoughts. I will land up my job in the future. Very brilliant as all. Brilliant. Are you married? No, I'm not. Assuming you are married, you are faithful to your husband. You give him all the respect he deserves. You, you obey him. Yet, he still treats you as if you are nothing. What will you do? I will either walk out of the marriage or stand up with him and give him that you want. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, you're welcome.
worst woman I've ever seen. I don't even know what I saw in you. I don't love you, I never did. I just married you out of self-pity after I picked you up from the slum. I had so much compassion because of your miserable life. I got married to you. But I tell you one thing, I regretted that decision I made years back. You're just good for nothing. All you do is to just sit down and eat my food. You gave me a girl. A child. After that, nothing. Because you have destroyed your womb with countless abortions that you did before. No, I won't leave my marriage. I will stand up to him. I came back from my friend's place and my daughter Sonia told me that he was looking for me. Good day, Dad. Where is your mother? She went to see Lizzie, her friend. Like always. after you. He's not looking happy. Yes. I am done worrying about how he feels. Whatever he wants now, I am ready to give it to him. But mom, please. Baby, everything will be fine. Can sort out whatever it is with him. Okay? Okay. Don't worry much. Okay. At that point, I have resolved to stand up to him. I thought that would be the solution. Sophia 
said he asked of me. What is it? What sort of question is that? Is that a question or an interrogation? Both. Both. I seriously do not have your time. Where are the car keys? Which are the car keys? Yours or mine? Does it look like I'm speaking French or something? Where are the car keys? Listen to me. I have done playing the third student in the principal's office. I have done everything. Everything known to humanity to make you happy. Yes. You remain unreasonable. Why are you so wicked? You are a very wicked man. In fact, you are a beast. See, let me tell you. Do not mistake me as someone who is still scared of you. No. You know you are my boss. You've taught me how to be aggressive. I am going to give you whatever you want in this house. Double. Don't mess around with me again. If you want us to turn this house into a battlefield, Hmm. I don't think What kind of husband are you? What kind of... What, what could I have this in my own house? What do you want? You want... You want... You want, you want car keys. What Come and take it. The airport trick, you talk to me like that. You are not serious. All your numerous girlfriends that you have been messing around with, you go there and ask them to respect you. Because you won't get any from me. From now on, I have had enough of you. You are so stupid. You are mad. You are not a man. Stella. Stella. I am talking to you, Stella. Stella. I said I am talking to you. You don't disrespect me in my own house! If you want to be respected, then you behave responsibly. Responsible men don't mess around the way you do! Are you stupid? Fred! You slapped me! I will do that again if you don't shut Go your ahead. mouth! Ahead. Go ahead and slap me! You've proven yourself to be worse than a beast! Fred gave me the worst shock of my life by slapping me. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? You are a devil in human form. You are a devil in human form. Now listen to me. We are out of this. Stay out of this. Fred, me. If you have a death wish. Get your miserable self out of my house I because me. I will deal with you. I am not leaving. I am not going anywhere. Wait for me. I am not going anywhere. Mom. It was not my daughter that was consoling me. Sleepless nights became my other name. I was devastated, confused and depressed. Oh, baby. 
<laughs> Freddy used to take me out at least once every week. He likes swimming. And I like to swim too. We would go for swimming and spend all day playing and gisting. Then I would think that the world is a bed or roses, but I never knew that things will get bad between us. Start this morning. 
Do you hear me? Very good again. Always eager to use me as your punching bag. Go on! Hit me, Fred. Yes! Hit me! Beat me like you always do. Beat me, I've grown a thick skin. Go on! What I don't understand is that is it that you don't have anything to do or you just enjoy hearing yourself talk? Because you are trying as much as possible to get under my skin this morning. Beast. I have a lot of things to do at the office. Wicked man. You are an animal. My God will punish you. You shall not do this. Hello, Francis. Yes, good morning. Ah, uh, it's just that I don't have information about that for now. I'm not in the right frame of mind to discuss that. Can we talk much later? Whatever thing you want me to tell you now, it will be inconsequential to you. Because, listen Francis, you are no longer a stranger to what is going on in my house. So, not in the right frame of mind to discuss that right now. So, let's not talk about this right now. Okay. Okay. Much later then. Same phone. Yes, indeed. Actually, indeed. How are you? Um, I was thinking, why don't we have a, why don't we hang out much later to walk? Okay, I know you will never say no. Yes, when it comes to that, I don't take no for an answer. When it comes to you, Okay, mm. let me quickly rush back to my office. So, I think I'll catch you later. When it's about that, you don't need to disturb yourself because I am the boss here. I call the shot. Mm. But before you go, drop something. Mm. Come on. Ah. Now move that in for me. Let me see what your mama gave you. Ah, shit. That's what I'm talking about. Move it right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe. Shit. <sighs> Fred will go to work and come back whenever he likes. Why are you behaving as if you don't understand what I am saying? I'm so sorry, just that I'm not so comfortable with you. Why are you not comfortable? We're just here, you and I. You're not a child, so you should be comfortable. What about your wife? I don't want to get. I, I like her. It, it's okay, it's okay. Forget about my wife, okay? I forget about my wife. It's just you and I. Feel free, okay? Let's not discuss business. Forget everything about work. We'll take care of ourselves. Okay. So, what do I have for you? Anything. Anything. Something tipsy. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Come on. Come on, relax. 
I like it. <laughs> I like to be tips. Very much. Uh, how much? Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. And take it easy. <laughs> Sometimes he will come back the next day without an explanation. Also, good evening. How are you? What? Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? How can they investigate me? What did I do? Why would they be investigating me? This is EFCC you're talking about. Why would they be investigating me? This is what you do. Just get all the information and get back to me, okay? Okay. Fred did the worst. He left the house and didn't come back. Are you traveling?
Sweetheart, what is it? Mom, did Dad tell you he was traveling? No. He just left with his bag. Mom, I'm tired of all this. <sighs> it's okay, sweetheart. Mom, everything will be fine. You have been telling me everything will be fine. Every time. Yeah, things are getting worse. Mom, did you do many things that pushed him into treating us in this manner? He's no longer responding to my greetings. Sweetheart, I didn't do anything to him. Then why is he treating us like this? <sighs> Mom, this is no longer ordinary. I promise you everything will be fine. Please, do you want me to cry? No. Please, I will take care of everything. I promise. Hey, what's up, darling? How are you? Yes, I'm at the usual sport. The problem is that you are not here. The whole place is just lonely. No problem, no problem. I'll be waiting. I have not heard anything about the information I asked for. The information concerning the EFCC investigation. What are you talking about? This is my company we're talking about. I am seriously worried. Please, get me information. Because I don't know why EFCC, they are investigating me. This is my company we're talking about. Listen, this is what I want you to do. Listen, I want to know who wrote the petition against my company. There should be an information. Look, look, look and see if you can bribe someone. But I need information, okay? I need information ASAP, okay? Thank you.
question. Fred, how could you? What are you talking about? How could you abandon your family? Okay, please. Please. This world will be a better place if you mind your own business and stay out of my personal life. Friend, listen. Listen, I am your friend. And if you start to act out of the light, it is my responsibility to tell you. Fred, who's your problem? Please, please. Please. What is your problem? Listen, as I speak to you right now, ESCC is investigating this company. That alone is so much on my plate. So don't add to it. Say, if you don't mind, please, get out of my office. Just remember that this is the second time you are asking me out of your office. Get out, my friend. They're asking you out of my office. Don't come to my office uninvited. Please, 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 no. take me to his MI. Oh God, please, take me to his MI. Oh God, please, come, please, come and take me to his MI. You have not answered my greeting. Oh. On our way to see his MI, I was so skeptical. I never believed in getting solution from his MI. But I had no option than to give it a try. We got there. As the wine started doing her consultation. I was just washing. After she was done with her consultation. She told me that I have a spirit husband and that he needs to be appeased. She said I will go and come back the next day so that she will take me to the river for settlement. I came back still not believing in all that SNY said. 
but I had no option. I decided that the next day I will go as she instructed.
He came back and apologized to all of us. Sorry. I don't know how to say this. But I want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am really, really sorry. Sophie. Oh, you don't understand. I have no grudge against you. I know that. But I took your love for granted. I don't know the importance of what I have. But now I realize it. I am really, really sorry. It's okay, baby. I just want to hear you say that you have forgiven me. I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. I love you both so much. I love you, Dad. I love you too, baby. I love you more. I love you too. I love you too. 